Now children, exercise 2.1, question number 1. Which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable and which are not? Straight reasons for your answer. Children, we have five different polynomials that you can see. You have to find out that each weather given each polynomial is having one variable, yes or no. If it is having one variable, then also you have to check that whether it is a polynomial or not. Okay, so let us start. First one, 4x square minus 3x plus 7. Here, you can see that x, x. So, only one variable is there. So, children, this is a polynomial having one variable. Second, y square plus root 2. Here also, variable is y and this exponent is whole number. Okay? Here also exponent is whole number. So, this is a polynomial as well as having one variable. Similarly, answer is same. Now, come to here children. 3 root 2 plus t root 2. This is an expression. This expression contains one variable. But, this is not a polynomial. Reason is, this here I am writing, children, this 3 root t. So, here we have to write 1 upon 2. Hmm, children, you know that x root x, this is nothing but x raised to 1 upon 2. So, this square root sign we remove and we write 1 upon 2. Remaining is as it is. So, children, this t does not have whole number. Exponent is not a whole number. So, this is not a polynomial. Though, it has one variable. In a one variable t, che, per aj exponent, che che, a exponent, whole number, whole number, it le 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Children, this, num this list is also known as non-negative number. Remember. Or you can say exponent would be either, would be whole number. Okay, children. So, this is not a polynomial. Now, this one. Now, children, here you can have like this y square. Okay, let it be y this way. But this y you bring up. So, here it comes minus 1. Okay. Hmm? This y comes minus 1. Now, again children, this exponent hmm, is not whole number. Here minus sign is there. Therefore, this is not a polynomial. Clear? Exponent should be this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 whole number. Hmm? Children, here j minus sign che te thi aj expression che te polynomial na thi bhale one variable y hoy okay now fifth one children here to obviously you can see that hmm, this is this children this expression is polynomial remember but does not have one variable so here different variables are there x y t but one thing you remember, this is a polynomial. Clear? Okay, children. Question number two. Write the coefficients of x square in each of the following. Children, here you have to find out coefficient of x square. So, here is x square, here is x square, here is x square. But here does not have x square. So, let us find out coefficient of x square. Now here 2 plus x square plus x. Coefficient means what? Before x means before variable. Any number is written that is known as coefficient. 
एक्स स्क्वेर के एक्स ए आग जो नंबर लख मल्टीप्लिकेशन रिलेशन में ए नंबर ने कोई इफिशियंट कह ते कहो कि अ प्लस टू है प्लस पेला टू है तो आग ना नंबर थो एम नहीं सो हियर चिल्ड्रन वन इज देर सो आंसर इज वन ओके बिफोर एक्स स्क्वेर इज वन नो चिल्ड्रन हियर बिफोर एक्स स्क्वेर इज ऑल्सो वन चिल्ड्रन दीस वन इन प्रेक्टिस् वी डोट राइट जय आप रेग्युलर मैथ करता हो तरह एक्स स्क्वेर आग जो वन हो लगता नहीं होता सो हियर बिफोर एक्स स्क्वेर वन बट दीस वन इज हेविंग नेगेटिव साइन सो आंसर इज माइनस वन चिल्ड्रन ओके सीमिलरली हियर इट इज वेरी सीम्पल आंसर चिल्ड्रन बिफोर एक्स स्क्वेर पाई बाय टू दिस इज कॉन्स्टंट चिल्ड्रन ओके एंड हियर एक्स स्क्वेर टर्म इज नॉट देर सो वी केन राइट दिस वे चिल्ड्रन एक्स स्क्वेर टर्म इज नॉट देर सो here we multiply zero with this x square hmm? so it remains zero only and we remaining part we write down this way so this polynomial this polynomial and this polynomial both are same polynomial but written little bit different way hmm? so we have introduced zero x square apde zero x square ne a polynomial ma ghusadi dida pan अहरो हो कारण आज एंटायर वेल्यू जो है यहाँ कोई फरक पड़ता नहीं कारण के जीरो मल्टीप्लाय थे समझाए समझो कि हूँ तमने सौ रुपया आपूँ तब मैंने बे पचास पचास की नोट पाची आप दो तो हूँ एम कहूँ कि मैं तमने सौ रुपया आप तो तरत तब कहो कि नहीं सर अब तमने पचास पचास रुपया कर पचास की नोट आपी एट सौ रुपया मिली गया तक एना जो है अँ जीरो एक्स स्क्वेर आप मुक्या खरा एक्स स्क्वेर मुक्या को लई मुक्या जीरो लैने मुक्या एट्ले आ वेल्यू तो जीरो थी गई एट रूट टू एक्स माइनस वन एमनेम रह हमें आंसर आपने मल से एक्स स्क्वेर ना कोई फिशंट क्यों से जीरो क्लियर चिल्ड्रन चलो नेक्स्ट सब क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री गीव वन एक्जाम्पल Each of a binomial of degree thirty-five and a monomial of degree hundred. Children, binomial means what? A polynomial has two terms. Degree, you know that power of x, highest power of x or exponent of x. Now, children, simple example: x plus three. This is binomial. ओके वाई माइनस नाइन दिस इज बाइनोमियल नाउ इट इज गिवन दैट बाइनोमियल ऑफ डिग्री थर्टी फाइव सो राइट डाउन हियर थर्टी फाइव राइट डाउन हियर थर्टी फाइव सो यू कैन हैव प्लेटी ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स सपोज आई राइट सेवन रेस टू सेवन एम रेस टू थर्टी फाइव माइनस सिक्स दिस इज अनदर एग्जाम्पल चिल्ड्रन सो यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स binomial of degree 35 only one thing you have to remember only one variable should be there and exponent or power that you are writing that should be 35 and there should be only two terms whether it is a plus sign or a minus sign okay this way also you can write children first you can write number also minus 10 minus 9 x raised to 35 This is also a binomial. Two terms are there, one and two. Everywhere you can see that this is one term, second term, one term and second term. Okay. Now monomial of degree hundred. Monomial means what? Hmm? A polynomial is having only one, one term. Suppose I write seven x degree is hundred. So here is hundred. Okay. Or you can write minus eight m raised to hundred. Only one term should be there. Or one can write hundred x raised to hundred. Okay. So these are all the examples of monomial of degree hundred. Write the degree of each of the following polynomials. We have children different polynomials. We have to find out. 
degree of each of the polynomials so children first we should know what is degree yesterday i explained you in last video session that exponent of x that you find out here is 3 here is 2 out of this highest exponent is the degree of the polynomial so now children here degree of the polynomial is 3 reason is what children exponents are 3 2 1 out of this which number is the biggest one 3 simple way I am telling you here upper na jip number dekhai the number ma muttama moto number hoy the degree ok chalo second sum 4 minus y square here children obviously answer is 2 only uh, 2 is there no other question here is 1 so answer is 1 and here children 3 we can write this way 3 x raised to 0 so answer is 1 children x raised to 0 means what children it is 1 hmm? 3 into 1 so this 1 hmm, is nothing but x raised to 0 you know that x raised to 0 is equal to 1 children this rule you studied so 3 equal to 3 into 1 this 1 is replaced by x0 now degree of this that is 0 not 1 children sorry degree of this polynomial is 0 ok so children I have not written complete sentence you write sentence this way the degree of the polynomial is 3 the degree of the polynomial is 2 the degree of the given polynomial is 1 and the degree of the given polynomial 3 is 0. Children, 3 is a polynomial, constant polynomial. Okay. Question number 5. Classify the following as linear, quadratic or cubic polynomials. Okay, children. Now, children, here we have question part. This is answer part. Polynomials, we have to decide whether it is a linear, quadratic or cubic. Children, you know that. When can we say that a polynomial is a linear? If degree is 1. When can we say quadratic polynomial? Degree is 2. And when can we say cubic polynomial? Degree is 3. Degree means what? Highest power we have to see. Hmm? In previous sum I taught that ahiyan je upper je number lakhyo che tema biggest number kayo che e tamare na ki karwano e na upper thi jo e 1 hoy to linear e 2 hoy to quadratic e 3 hoy to cubic mutta ma moto number kayo che that you have to decide okay children very easy let us start hmm? so children here how to study this see this page you pause it now now take rough paper hmm, and you write down answer yourself you make column this way you write down this answer hmm, whether it is a linear quadratic or cubic that way you try now see here children linear quadratic cubic here polynomials written so you find out tick mark you can do it let us start now now children just now I taught degree is what 2 because highest power so degree is 2 so answer is this one quadratic linear here you can write degree 1 here degree 2 here degree 3 ok now x minus x cube highest power is 3 so it is cubic polynomial degree is 3 here is quadratic polynomial here is children degree 1 1 is not written but that we know hmm? so degree is 1 so 1 means what degree is 1 so it should be linear so this is linear 3 t t degree power is 1 so it is linear polynomial here is 2 quadratic 
so this is quadratic polynomial and here is 3 it is cubic polynomial because it is power is 3 so children understood so we have finished exercise 2.1 children it is very easy exercise once or twice you practice it you can study well now students let us start revision you think that or you will ask me question sir revision for what revision which subject i mean which topic revision already just now we have started exercise and here written revision yes children you are thinking correctly revision now today i mean in this session i want to start next exercise and topic name is zero of the polynomial but before that some basic rule i want to teach you basic very very basic you can say hmm? already you know everything hmm? if i start here no writing you will laugh maybe but you can laugh no problem but children one thing i tell you as a teacher amari paase students 95 percent thi upar launar apan student 95 percent thi badare percent launar apan student hoi अने 35% थी नीचे परसंटेज लावनारा पन स्टूडेंट होए अने ए बन्ने नी बच्चे एवरेज स्टूडेंट पन होए इटले मारे अत्यारे जी तमने भनाव उचे जे उन टॉपिक्स तमने अत्यारे भनावानो शु ते एकदम बेसिक रूल छे पन ए रूल तमे शिखी गया चो आवडे पन छे छता तमे ट्राई कर जो कि कदाच तमारा थी एरर पन Hmm? Chalo. Let us start. See children. Here I am writing some questions. Now children, very simple questions you can see. You may be thinking that hmm, sir is teaching us 4th standard or 3rd standard mathematics. Yes children, I have to. Now first step children, you pause the video. Write down this question and questions and write down your answers children. Okay. I am waiting for one or two, three seconds. You write down each question, then um, pause the video. Don't see the answer part. Okay, answer I am writing now. So you stop video and write down answer and check your answer. If you are getting all correct answer, I no need to appreciate you because at this standard, you must know it. But if you don't know, then what to do hmm? okay children now i am writing answer i think all of you are getting correct answer i cannot get feedback from you but you have written if you have written all correct answer then really very good <coughs> okay children now let us learn rules now children understand these two simple rules hmm? first rule if same sign what you have to do do addition and bigger number sign second rule if opposite signs do subtraction and bigger number sign now children let us see if same sign what is the meaning here same sign meaning is this is plus sign and this is also plus sign we have here same sign here also we have same sign okay minus minus opposite sign means what plus sign minus sign minus sign plus sign then what to do? Do addition when same sign. Now here children see. 7 plus 3. We have added. We got 10. 7 plus 3. We have got 10. And second rule simultaneously. And bigger number sign. Children here bigger number sign. We mean that. Hmm, 7 bigger number. And 3 smaller number. Why I have written this? Because you may argue that children, here minus 7 is bigger than minus 3. Don't think that way. Think this way. Bigger number and smaller number. Okay. 
so children opposite sign hmm? do sorry opposite sign do subtraction so here plus and minus sign opposite sign do subtraction 7 minus 3 4 and here is minus 7 plus sign so 7 minus 3 4 bigger number sign bigger number sign is important here here what hmm? 4 we are getting in both the cases but bigger number is here plus sign 7 is plus so we have written plus 4 and here bigger number is 7 so this minus sign written here clear similarly here also you can have hmm? these are opposite signs 6 plus sign normally we don't write so opposite sign do subtraction 10 minus 6 4 bigger number is 10 so this minus sign right here similarly here same sign hmm? this rule same sign do addition so 6 10 it is 16 bigger number sign so this minus sign will come here here minus 6 plus 10 so opposite sign do subtraction 4 bigger number sign is plus same sign both are positive 10 plus 6 16 children hmm? okay children now i am giving you few examples hmm? you study this rule once twice write down in notebook i am sure that you will not make mistake in future children okay some examples here i am writing hmm, that you um, first pause the video and write down answer okay children let us write down this all questions in your notebook children this type of problems i give you immediately you start questioning sir we write in fair book or rough book obviously children if you write in rough book no problem and if you write in fair book then also no problem because i have only taught you hmm? so this way you write down okay children written or post the video and written everything now i am writing answer children okay one by one i am writing answer and explaining also now children here rule i am speaking same sign what would be there addition so 11 will be there bigger number sign 7 is bigger so minus 11 <coughs> opposite sign do subtraction so 10 minus 9 1 bigger number sign minus 1 so let's speak this way opposite sign do subtraction so 13 minus 11 2 bigger number sign minus sign 13 minus 11 opposite sign 2 bigger number sign plus sign write plus 2 children no need to write plus but for understanding purpose here same sign do addition bigger number sign minus sign opposite sign ok plus and minus opposite sign do subtraction bigger number sign minus 1 Opposite sign, do subtraction, bigger number sign. Children, speak along with me. Hmm? 9 minus 4. Opposite sign, do subtraction, bigger number sign. Here also, opposite sign, do subtraction, bigger number sign, minus sign. Same sign, do addition, bigger number sign, minus 3. Now, children, I have taken here like this numbers. Hmm? So, what we have to do? First, this two you take. Same rule. Minus 3, minus 2. Here already we have obtained. So, minus 5 and this minus 1. So, again same rule. Hmm? Same sign. Do addition. Bigger number sign. So, minus 6. Okay. Now, children, I am waiting. You write down all three answers by this rule. Just now I taught. Hmm? Rule same. Now take first two. Children, you can take any two numbers. No problem. Here I am taking first two. Because I have to write something. So I am starting this two. You can take this and this also. You can take this and this also. Here opposite sign. Do subtraction. Bigger number sign. Minus one. And minus three. 
सेम रूल सेम साइन डू एडिशन थ्री प्लस वन फोर बिगर नंबर साइन माइनस फोर ना चिल्ड्रन हियर टेक नाउ दिस टू चिल्ड्रन सो माइनस टू एस इट इज राइट माइनस थ्री प्लस वन अपोजिट साइन डू सब्ट्रेक्शन बिगर नंबर साइन सो थ्री माइनस वन इज टू बिगर नंबर साइन इज माइनस साइन नाउ चिल्ड्रन सेम साइन ओके सेम साइन सो डू एडिशन बिगर नंबर साइन नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ बिगर नंबर बोथ आर सेम सो माइनस साइन फाइव माइनस नाइन प्लस सेवन सो हियर इज टेक दिस वन इट इज टू बिगर नंबर साइन इज माइनस टू प्लस सेवन माइनस टू प्लस सेवन इज फाइव चिल्ड्रन ओके चिल्ड्रन तमने आ रीते कोई भणायू नहीं हो आज तब आ भाया शीख्या मजा आई थोड़ो वीडियो आप लाबो थी गये लगते बेजिक वस्तु आज तब शीख्या चलो ओके चिल्ड्रन ओके चिल्ड्रन बाय टुमोरो वी विल मीट नेक्स्ट सेशन ओके थैंक यू